Wintertime heat and humidity will return. Meteorologist Scott Munt looks at what to expect. We're about to enter a stretch of a lot of heat and humidity. It's something we've seen before. That last week of June gave us high dew points and high air temperatures. If you like the late June heat and humidity, you're in luck as we have a longer stretch of heat and humidity that starts this weekend and it will last through next week. The telltale sign of the summer scorcher is the dew point temperature. Computer models show that dew points will jump to the 70s this weekend and for much of next week. There's even a computer model that suggests dew points in the 80s next week. Yuck. As the high dew points return, the actual air temperature will return to the 90s in eastern Kettleland. That means the heat index will likely return to the 100s. Do what you can to stay hydrated and cool. A way to stay cool would be in the pool. Now this heat is right on time because this is the hottest time of the year. Our average highs start to go down next month. All right, so we have some humidity to look forward to, Scott. Well, I'm glad you're looking forward to it uh, because it will be here. It'll be here for quite some time too. And, you know that will combine with the air temperature getting into the 80s and 90s. We're talking about that heat index probably into the 100s. I like it because I like to go swim in the pool on a nice okay. hot day. My hair hates it. My hair just fluffs right uh, up in the humidity. I know. I, I know what you mean. I have that problem too. I know I'm not the only one. Um, but we'll see how you uh, feel maybe at the end of next week. Okay. We'll have to visit this conversation again. We'll see. Okay.